welcome back to Chill Vibes Only CBO Wellness. My name is Allie and today I'm going to be talking about a technique that me and my partner have been using since we moved in together that has positively impacted our relationship. And that is a vibe check. So I believe that every couple should do a vibe check whether you live together or not. But my partner and I started doing it when we moved in together because we found that it really helped us prioritize our relationship and address any concerns while also showing appreciation for each other every single week. So basically we vibe check every single week. We usually do it on Sundays. We make sure when we're vibe checking, we do it in a neutral space. So either we're out for a walk, you know, we're in our kitchen. Um, we're definitely not in our bedroom or in any places where we want to like relax or we don't want to have any tension. And we try to keep it as neutral as possible. The vibe check includes three things, and the first one is appreciation and gratitude. So we'll each take a turn saying something that we appreciated about one another throughout the week. So that could be like, I really appreciated when you cooked dinner on Tuesday night after I had a long day, or you made time to come swimming with me in the morning and that made me feel really good. Or, you know, you said that really nice compliment to me, or I really enjoyed when we went into this cool activity that you planned. Any way that you can like appreciate your partner and show them like, yeah, like that was really awesome. Not only does that make your partner feel good, but it also kind of reinstates to each other out loud things that you're doing in your relationship that are causing you to feel desired to one another, feel good about one another, um, and things that you want to continue to prioritize in the relationship. Okay, so the second thing that we do is we discuss any points of conflict or have any like feedback. So oftentimes, especially when you move in with someone, there's more opportunity for, you know, minor conflicts or minor disagreements or things that might rub you the wrong way. And my partner and I have found that obviously like if something big happens, we want to address it in the moment. But there's a lot of times when things that like aren't that big of a deal but kind of bother you or you know something might have been said that you don't want to react to right away you want to respond to later on or it could just be like a specific activity that they're doing that might be you know rubbing you the wrong way like I don't know making the bed funny or forgetting to water the plants or, or something minimal but we try to give each other feedback after the gratitude so it could even be like feedback on a you know a disagreement that we had like when we got into that disagreement, like I felt this way, or you know, I felt like this was happening in the conversation, and I would have appreciated it if we could have used more I statements, whatever it is. But the point of the feedback part is to be giving feedback in a de-escalated manner. So not when we're all tense, not when we're worked up. And oftentimes too, if you kind of let it sit throughout the week, knowing like, hey, if this is still bothering me in a couple days, I can always bring it up the, at the vibe check. Or maybe I'll just forget about it and it doesn't need to be said. It kind of helps me prioritize like, okay, when is something a big enough issue that I want to bring it up with someone? Um, and again, because it's a vibe check and we've just expressed gratitude, it feels like way less attacky and like defensive and more open to like, oh, like I didn't know that bothered you. Like, thanks for bringing it up. I can definitely change that or we can do this instead. Giving a chance to provide feedback on the week. Um, and again, it just kind of keeps you from getting into like, resentment or not bringing up issues if that's a problem that you have in your relationship because you have this active space to talk about it. And then the third and final thing that we do in our vibe check is we plan our week. And I think this is so important for all couples, but especially couples who live together and especially couples who have been in long-term relationships. Oftentimes, like you can kind of just fall into a rut or like this common theme of sitting on the couch watching TV or like ordering food in um, or just doing like things around the house or thinking that like, oh, we're both here on Monday night, we both watch TV together, that counts as us hanging out or spending quality time together when it might not for one partner or it doesn't feel very thought out and it doesn't feel like intentional. Um, and it's kind of blurs the line between like quality time and like just alone chill house time. So I find by prioritizing our week and just saying like, okay, these are the dates that I'm busy, so like, you know, just letting them know when you're gonna be out and about. And then also these are the days that I'd like to hang out, you know, let's hang out on Tuesday night and let's hang out on Saturday night. Um, maybe Tuesday night you plan, Saturday I'll plan. Um, kind of finding ways to make it fun and like me and my partner will rotate off. So one of us will plan and make dinner for the one night and the other one will plan and make dinner for the next night. 
And again, it just allows you to both show that you're invested in the relationship, that you're prioritizing the relationship, that you're making time for the relationship. And during those times, like you can actively be with one another. So when the other times when you are relaxing or, you know, maybe you're having a chill night by yourself, you don't feel like, you know, that's your time with your partner that you're missing out on because you know when you actually are prioritizing date night with them. And I think it's fun to date and it also encourages you to go out and try new things and not you know, rely back on like the same old, same old because you plan it in advance and you make a point to say, you know, this is the date where we're doing this thing. So yeah, vibe checks have really helped my relationship keep on track. Um, it helps us, you know, stay active partners together uh, and stay on top of conflict while also expressing a lot of appreciation and love for one another. And I think it's been a really big positive in our relationship and I highly recommend that you try it out as well. Alright, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps this channel. Feel free to share it with anyone else you think it might be helpful for. Uh, and give us a follow at CBO Wellness. Uh, we have tons of great information on our Instagram page. And we'll see you for another video soon.